Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So as you can see, I've got myself a new toy. I mean a new tool. And it's this very old cast iron bandsaw. I've been looking for one of these for years and I was very excited to get it. And at this point I realised I'd never experienced true love before. Sorry to any ex-girlfriends watching. The whole thing runs incredibly smoothly and I reckon with a motor and a new blade, it'd be good to go but I'm going to strip it down and restore it. So I got this online without seeing it. I got a couple of guys in a van with a tail lift to deliver it. I had the dimensions of it beforehand, so I knocked up this dolly and we got it loaded on that and then I could take it from there. And I'm certainly glad I made that because this thing has some serious weight to it. As you can see, the paint's a bit tatty, a few bits are bent and there's definitely some surface rust. But as it all turns freely, hopefully there's not too much to do. I plan for this to be one of those projects I just work on here and there when I have a bit of time, but it's something I'm gonna have to take care of straight away. Now, really, I did know it wasn't gonna fit through the door beforehand, but I wasn't worried about this because I always intended to strip it down. But before I can even get it away, I'm gonna have to get this top wheel taken off. The top wheel guard comes off with a couple of wing nuts and while I'm doing them I thought I might as well remove the bottom one as well. Next is to get this old rusty blade off so I just need to loosen the tension. I thought that was it and the blade would just come off now but I missed the little plate holding the two sides of the table together. So again a couple of wing nuts and that comes off. Now I can remove the blade. And it's a bit fiddly to do, but I'm planning to keep a nice big resaw blade on this permanently. This blade guard's got a dent to it. Hopefully I can fix it, otherwise I'm going to have to fabricate a new one. It's been repainted at some point and all the screws have been painted over, so I had to remove all the paint from the slots before I could get them taken off. I couldn't find much information on this saw but it looks to be about 100 years old, and that means all the nuts and bolts are imperial. Luckily, last year my brother-in-law gave me this toolbox full of imperial bits, so it's gonna get its first outing on this project. I undo all the bolts holding on this bit of blade guard, and then I can get that removed. While removing the bolts, you can definitely see there was some red paint underneath that looks a bit bright to be primer, so I don't know what color this was originally. This machine's taller than me, so to access the top wheel, I get out the old IKEA step stool. There's a couple of bolts holding on the tensioning spring, so I can get them loosened off and then get that spring removed. The tensioning mechanism's a little stiff, so I get it lubed up and leave it to work in for a bit while I have a cup of tea. Then I come back and it unwinds without too much trouble. The wheel moves up and down in a dovetailed slot and these need to be removed to get the wheel off. I imagine the wheel weighed quite a bit and I didn't want it just dropping down so I packed some wood underneath it. Then I could get one of the dovetails fully removed and I was so concentrating on not dropping the wheel I dropped the dovetail. But no damage was done and the wheel definitely was as heavy as I imagined. Here you can see the retrieved dovetail that it slides into. So that went on there, and now I just need to remove the other one. The blade guide mechanism is seized, and I want to move it so I can see what the maximum resource capacity of this is. A bit of persuasion gets one bit to move, but the other bits I'm just going to have to take apart and then clean up later. With that plate removed, I can now move the guides up and see what the capacity is. And it's about 11 inches of resaw capacity, which would be fantastic. So it should all fit through the door now, but I thought might as well get the table taken off as well and reduce the weight a bit. But first, I've just got to remove this one more bit of guard. Then there's just one more bolt and the table can come off. 
it's a pretty big cast iron table. I was a little worried if I'd be able to lift it, but actually it wasn't that bad at all. So that's all I was gonna do because there was some rain coming. Now it's time to get it put away. Unfortunately, it didn't seem that much lighter, even with all those bits taken off it. My plan is for the bandsaw to actually live in the garage. I could get it in the workshop, but it would dominate the space. So, garage it is. A couple of weeks gone by, my hair's a bit shorter, and time to do some more work on this. The V pulley is held on with a screw, get that taken off, then I can pull it off and fall over. The bandsaw wheel on the other side is also held on with a screw, and then I can get that tapped out. The shaft was moving, but not at a very fast rate, and I didn't want to force it. So I decided to take this plate off and try and remove the whole thing in one go. The little grease cup needed unscrewing on the other side so it actually fit through the casting, and then I could get the whole mechanism removed. With it on the ground, I could then tap the shaft out from the other direction, using the longest bit of dowel I could find, just because I like to make things difficult for myself. With the bottom wheel taken apart, I could fetch out the top wheel and do the same, but I'd actually gone in the workshop and chopped that dowel down. With it apart, I could see what the bearings are like. The grease is all nice and clean and the bearings look as good as new. This machine looks rough on the outside, but it looks like it's been well cared for mechanically. The table tilt mechanism just has one bolt holding it on, so I thought all I've got to do is take that off and it should come off, but I'd missed the blade guards and they needed to be taken off first. But with them we've removed, the tilt mechanism could come off. that's everything stripped down. Looks like I've got quite a lot of degreasing and cleaning to do. But I'm not going to do any of that now. I'm just going to get everything put away and wait till I've got more time. So as I said, I could find very little information on this bandsaw, but if you recognize it and know anything, leave a comment down below, please. It's a shame it wouldn't fit through the door with the wheel on, but whilst in the garage, there's plenty of room for it to operate. So, thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.